sometimes things just have to be taken to extremes. What you are watching is a field demonstration highlighting the impact strength of the product you are about to install, the LADTEC Recycled High Density Polyethylene Adjustment Rings. As you can clearly see, the LADTEC Adjustment Ring will not be the weak link in your system installation. This video has been produced to guide you through a successful installation of our LADTEC Adjustment Rings. Now that you have a brief introduction to the LADTEC Adjustment Rings, we will proceed with the step-by-step -step installation procedure. The first step is to make sure that you have a clean installation area. For this, be sure to clean the concrete cone or top slab with a whisk broom or chisel. This will assure a flat seating surface free of rocks, gravel, blacktop, protruding concrete, or frozen debris. With the installation area now clean, measure the distance from the cone or top slab to the projected finish grade. When making this measurement, be sure to deduct the distance or height of the cover frame. Determine the net buildup of rings necessary to come within a quarter inch of the grade with the cover frame in place. Now that you have your preliminary measurements, you will need to determine the best ring height combination to attain the necessary adjustment for your specific installation. In cases where grades are not flat, use slope rings to accommodate for this difference. With the measurements determined and your required rings selected, dry stack the rings on the cone or top slab. Index any slope rings as necessary. With the rings dry stacked, verify the height and slope match. When the assembly is in place and you have your desired height and slope, mark the entire stack with a vertical line of spray paint. Once you have your line, disassemble the setup. You are now ready to begin the actual installation. With all rings within arm's reach, apply a 3 8 inch bead of approved butyl sealant, either in rope or tube form, to the intended base ring. Be sure to verify that the sealant adheres to the ring. If the cone or top slab is extremely rough, a second bead can be added to the outer perimeter of the first bead. This is done to assure a complete seal. Please note that it may be necessary to create a flat, sealable surface using mortar if the cone or top slab is too badly chipped up prior to installing the ring. With the sealant applied, place the first ring down onto the cone or top slab with the male lip into the opening. Make sure to line up your paint strip. In most cases, this first ring will fit securely into the opening. However, the cone or top slab may be eccentric or undersized and may not allow the ring to sit flush. In this case, the lip on the adjustment ring may be cut as necessary to allow the ring to sit flush and align on the manhole assembly. First, determine the amount of lip to be removed. Using a common carpenter saw, make a perpendicular cut at each end of that distance, being careful not to cut into the base surface of the ring. Hold the saw flush against the lip's mounting surface and proceed to cut off the portion of the lip between the two perpendicular cuts. Caution, be sure not to cut beyond the perpendicular cuts you have made. The ring can now be installed flush to the manhole, top slab, or cone assembly utilizing the approved butyl sealant. Holding the ring vertically so that you are looking down on the flat side of the male tongue, apply a 3 8 inch bead of an approved butyl sealant on the male tongue. Be sure to cover the entire 360 degrees of the ring. As before, place the second ring down onto the first with the male lip interlocking into the center of the first ring. For each ring, make sure to line up your paint strip. At this point, repeat the assembly as you did in the prior steps for each additional ring, applying the bead of sealant and placing the rings on top of one another, being sure to line up your paint strip. At this point, you will have all the rings stacked with the sealant applied. You will now proceed to install the cover frame. Prior to setting it in place, apply a 3 8 inch bead of the approved butyl sealant on top of the last ring. Be sure to apply the sealant in a location so that it contacts the cover frame the full 360 degrees. If necessary, you may apply a double bead of sealant. With the sealant applied, you are now ready to install the cover. Before doing so, make sure the base surface of the cover is clean and free of any debris. 
set the cover in place, verifying that it is centered on the top ring. At this point, the installation of your LADTEC adjustment rings is complete. As you can see, you can almost immediately backfill the installation area and proceed to your next installation site. If you are vacuum testing the chimney section of your manholes, use the following procedure. For the first ring, place a 1 inch or 1 and 1 quarter inch butyl rope on the flat surface next to the male tongue. Be sure to cut the end rather than pull it apart. Once cut, be sure to knead the two ends together so that you cannot see the splice. For vacuum testing, be sure not to use tube caulk. Be sure to verify that the sealant adheres to the ring. Continue your installation as normal, but again, be sure that you are not using tube caulk. For the last ring, place a 1 inch or 1 and 1 quarter inch butyl rope on the flat surface on the top of the ring. Be sure that you apply the sealant on the inside of the perimeter holes. Again, be sure to cut the ends of the butyl rope rather than pull it apart. Once cut, be sure to knead the two ends together so that you cannot see the splice. Before installing the cover, make sure its base surface is clean and free of any debris. Set the cover in place, verifying that it is centered on the top ring. Place the vacuum plate on top of the frame. Remember, when vacuum testing and utilizing the thicker butyl rope, you will gain 3 eighths of an inch. Remember to accommodate for this gain when dry stacking and measuring. As you can see, the LADTEC adjustment rings will pass ASTM specifications for vacuum testing. This video has shown you the basic step-by-step -step method recommended to install the LADTEC adjustment rings. If you have any concerns, questions, or suggestions, please contact your local distributor. You may also reach us through our website at www.ladtech.com.